What's up, everybody? So, another great day in paradise. So, woke up, me and Misty went out for a run, and she did her business, I did my business, <laughs> and uh, get started, rolling down the road. I got about two miles away from the rest area, and talking to my daughter, then, hey, how you doing? Bow! Oh, son of a bitch! Fucking blew a tire! <laughs> Fuck! So, just so happens, the very next exit I come up to, there's a Loves. I'm like, yes, sweet! I pull into the Loves, and they have a tire shop, of course, which has been completely demolished because they're building a brand new one. So I'm like, oh, come on! So, uh, call up, and they found, it just so happens, across the uh, interstate from that Loves is a tire shop, B&E Tire Shop in, I believe it's Hazen, Arkansas. Uh, super nice people. They got a ton of tires here, so if you're ever in around the Hazen area, give them a call. So, uh, yeah, that's been the start of my day. And, uh, yeah, loving life. So, there's uh, some other new news. I am the newest beginner of Ozimbic 2021. So, as you can tell, I am not a little dude. And it's been this way for years. I've tried every diet known to God. And uh, I generally just kind of peek out and then nothing i can't i can't get below that i might hit 20 i might hit 25 pounds i've even hit 30 but once i hit whatever top peak is it just stops and you know willpower only lasts so long when absolutely nothing is happening for such an extended period of time and so you know like everything you just you kind of lose it and you get back into normal life and next thing you know the weight's back I mean, I've tried uh, uh, the Atkins, the Ketos, the Hunger, I mean, oh God, counting calories, you name it. So, talk to my doctor, and I'm dealing with the whole diabetes thing anyway, and uh, he got me on Ozempic. And the beauty of this is, it doesn't really require any willpower whatsoever. Once you take this injection, there's no hunger. Like you don't want to eat even the thought of eating just kind of makes you nauseous and i mean like physically nauseous uh i'm not saying like it's just kind of eh, but like really unless you're hungry if you try to eat and you're not hungry it's not going to end well for you and that's just incredible um i've been eating a lot of baby food i got no reason to hide it or try to lie about it it's uh it's a great way I eat a couple of those little bitty tubs of baby food and I'm full. Uh, after a while, I'll start to feel like I really do need to eat something solid and so I'll grab some baked chicken or some fruit or whatever I can find at the Loves that's you know moderately healthy. Uh, Loves generally has the better salad options and fruit and, and uh, vegetables. Pilot doesn't offer shit for health. I mean, they just don't. Loves is about the only one that I've found that has a consistent array of a healthy option so i generally always hit the loves for food wise and then i got a refrigerator which i never carried before but that ozempic has to be refrigerated so i now have a little bitty refrigerator and that's come in super handy i get quite a few of the cups from the loves and that'll last me a long time uh, another thing that they sell that i really enjoy are the uh, yogurt parfaits kind of like what mcdonald's has and they have blueberry or strawberry either one i don't care but that's a great uh you know little snack uh sometimes i'm hungry enough i can eat the whole thing but usually i'll eat about half of it uh put the other half back in the refrigerator and then eat the other half later but uh eating about once a day has been all i can handle and it's just not much um maybe a cup of fruit and um some veggie sticks or something but like compared to what i would normally eat in a day it's just mind-boggling and i don't desire any more now i drink like a fucking camel don't get me wrong i mean i'm knocking down liquids all day long but that's it so i'm down with that if i can just deal with liquids yeah okay so um it's been real simple you take uh at this point i've just started out so i'm at 0.25 milligrams once a week uh you just stab yourself in the belly uh, you have to rotate where you stab yourself so you don't develop, you know, puncture marks and scar tissue underneath. So you just go from one side to this side, up and down, and you constantly rotate where you're going to get it. Now, 
Um, I've also seen uh, where they say you can inject it, uh, inject it into your thigh, but uh, every uh, doctor and the pharmacist that I've spoke with doesn't recommend that you do that. Uh, they recommend the belly. And what's really weird is, first of all, you don't feel a thing. It honestly feels like you're taking your finger and doing this. You don't feel anything whatsoever, just a little bit of pressure from where the plastic part is there that's going down. There's, so there's no pain whatsoever. Like the first time I did the injection, I was really nervous uh, because there's a needle. Anytime there's a needle, I'm generally freaking the fuck out because I don't dig needles. But the needle is so little and so tiny, you don't feel it at all. And you've got to hold it there for 10 seconds and then pull it out, take the needle off, throw it away, and then put your cap back on the thing. And there's, uh, because I've just started out, I'm at 0.25 and there's 1.5 in each pin. So you're supposed to do four weeks of 0.25 and then graduate from that to 0.5. However, uh, all the videos that I've watched on this say once they graduated to the 0.5 after four weeks, they ended up having to go back to 0.25 for a while because the system just wasn't ready. And I can tell you already from just dealing with the 0.25, I'm not gonna be ready to make that jump. So I'm thinking I'm gonna go ahead and just extend that 0.25 out for the full six weeks that's in the pen. Uh, and then I'll go back and just kind of decide because when you're first starting out, that's all it takes is just a little bitty 0.25 and your body is gonna go through some real weird shit. Um, the first one I felt kind of dizzy for a little bit and nausea oh that's one you're gonna deal with every day at weird times um, I haven't had it so bad that I've had to vomit but I've definitely felt the nausea and so you just kind of try to breathe through it drink a little bit and you know and it generally goes away but yeah, it sucks, you know, but again, everybody that I've uh, spoke with and I've watched videos about says after a while that will dissipate. But I, I assure you, starting out with that, uh, that nausea, that's the biggest drawback. Everything else, the kind of dizziness, the, I don't know, sometimes feeling foggy headed, uh, generally that's the day of the injection where you get the most weirdness. It doesn't affect you so bad that you can't work. I drive every single day you know, injection day or not. So it's not so bad that I can't do my job, but it makes it more uncomfortable, you know, cause now you're feeling kind of woozy in the head. Not so much that, you know, traffic is blurring or anything, but it's just, you feel foggy headed. Like maybe you got a cold coming on or something, that kind of thing. It's not where it's affecting you, but regardless, it's, it's not pleasant. So I'm really looking forward to the, uh, the moment where that kind of all dissipates and I can just take the injection and roll on but for now I'm still dealing with a lot so yeah but um, the the lack of desire to eat anything is seriously the most mind-boggling aspect of the whole thing like it used to cost me a few hundred dollars a week eating out here on the road between the pilot or, you know, um, a restaurant or ordering DoorDash, you know, I mean, you can go through money in a hurry. If you've ever ordered DoorDash and ordered decent food, you know, something other than McDonald's, you know, it doesn't take anything to go through 25, 30, 40 bucks. You know, if you're ordering like Mexican food or Italian food and you get a decent restaurant, you know, by the time you've paid for the food and then you pay the extra fees, you know, you've racked up a bill, so you can run through several hundred dollars in a week without even trying on the road. With this, I buy about 20 bucks worth of baby food and about maybe 20 bucks worth of fruit and vegetable cups and stuff like that. And that's really an entire week. Like that's, that's, and even then, I've still got a bunch of uh, the baby food left. I've, um, I've got a whole new appreciation for what babies are eating now because some of that shit is really difficult. <laughs> you gotta just, I'm wondering if it's the, <laughs> the, uh, the injection causing the nausea or some of the fucking baby food. Cause bro, turkey and rice, that is not turkey and rice. If turkey and rice took a shit after eating turkey and rice, that's what's in that tub. It's 
fucking rough. I'm telling you. Uh, chicken and rice, same thing. I think they just swapped the label. Now, apple and chicken, that one's actually pretty good. <laughs> I can actually handle that one. And then they've got a uh, blueberry apple. It's kind of uh, applesauce consistency. And that's not too bad. So I've come across a couple that are palatable and that you can actually eat with a spoon. The other ones I've found it's easier to just rip the top off and literally just tip the cup up and try to slam it down and that way it's done. Uh, all I'm trying to do is just coat my stomach and put something on it. I don't really want to eat anything but I need something because you can tell that your body is feeling some real weird shit. So that's the whole point of the baby food. Plus my stomach doesn't have to work to break it down. It just in out take what you can and go so yeah it's um to say i would do anything to lose this weight yeah i mean i mean it you know i'm <laughs> uh i'm about as low as i can get with eating and uh you know really uh putting things <laughs> down my gullet that i wouldn't think i'd ever do but I mean, it's working. I'm, I've definitely lost a few pounds. Um, I can feel it. I've only been on this for about a week and a half. Um, so I recently just three days ago took my second injection. And, um, uh, again, there's just, there's really nothing to it. Uh, so if for any reason, the injection part of it might be freaking you out, don't. I swear to you, you won't feel anything. If you take your finger and push it against your belly, that's exactly what it feels like. You'll The only way you even know anything has happened is when you pull it out, there's gonna be one single drop at the end of the needle. It's creepy, but that's the only way you know it's actually done anything. And it kind of, when it when it goes in and you're clicking it, it goes off like one of those wind-up toys from the you know, 60s and 70s where the robots would go do 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 it, that's exactly what it sounds like when you're holding the button down. It's kind of bizarre, but that's exactly what it reminds me of. So, uh, and it takes, like I said, uh, in 15 seconds from start to finish, maybe 20 seconds, because you got to do the whole alcohol wipe, you're done. And then that's it. Then you just chill, and that's the end of it until the following week. Like I said, if you can handle dealing with the nausea, you really have to, that's going to be your biggest uh, maintainer of how to handle things you can't really eat much uh, and if you do and you try to push it because your mind is more programmed to there's no way I'm not hungry I should eat something you will probably vomit because your body is just on a totally different level once you start this uh, what you're thinking in your mind and what your mind is thinking by itself yeah, don't push that button because it'll push back and whatever you had going down will revisit you at that point. So uh, at any rate, I just kind of wanted to bring you all up to speed. This is um, this is going to be my new mark. As you can see, I am one very fat SOB. I'm about 340 at this point. So I've been battling this for as long as I can remember. Uh, I was very, very, very skinny when I was 21, um, like to the point where I, you know, I would always get made in front of because I was so skinny. Uh, I even got my, my nickname on the CB way back in the day because I was so skinny. They called me Gumby because I could reach my arm in the motor and touch almost anything that they wanted to ask you about on the PTI. Somehow I went from one end of the spectrum all the way to the other. And so now I'm fighting this, but you know, uh, things are finally actually looking like there's going to be an end to all of this. You know, before you start and you're eager and you're ready to fight it and do the willpower thing, you know. And then as you progress, you know, shit diminishes. Then a bright light eventually turns to a dim flicker and then it just fucking goes out and you're like, well, there's that. And after you've done that for so long you you start to really lose hope that you're ever going to be able to just get down to a normal weight uh i love being active and i love making these videos i even i highly doubt anybody's even watching these and that's okay when i'm old and retire i will watch these videos again and go i remember doing that so this is really more of a for me thing if anybody else watches it that's cool but uh i don't 
really care if you hit subscribe or smash a bell. If for some reason you watched it and you got something from it, that's all That's all I could hope for. Uh, like I said, this is more of just a journey for me to go, God, I remember when I was that big a tub of shit. But hopefully I can stop this and Ozempic is going to help me. That will be probably the greatest thing I could ever hope for. So um, next to Misty, awesome. <laughs> so, well, I guess I'll end it for now. Hopefully this guy's going to get me a tire and uh, yeah, until next injection or I decide to do something else crazy. See you. Thanks for watching.